Class, class. Yes, yes. That's weak. Class, class. Yes, yes. Let's check champs. So we're going to be at conversation zero. You're not participating by writing, so go, go ahead and remove that, Grace. Madison, come to the carpet. Thank you. Love how you're sitting, Destiny. Okay, so right now, can we go to the next slide? So I'm going to be typing up here. Yep, listening, asking questions. All we're doing right now is listening. It should be a zero. Okay, so she's from China. So far, I haven't done any research on China. Her name is Judy. I'm thinking in my head, how can I hook the reader? Okay, and I'm thinking of something famous that's from China. So most people... know that panda bears and the Great Wall come from where? China. Come from China. But there is another uh, I can't say there's another famous thing Shh. Let's not let's not be calling out. Most people, however, do not know Can you go lose a point? The person Ms. Carrillo is talking to. Most people, however, do not know that Judy P came to America from China. Judy P was just how old? 28. Judy P was 28 when she came. Does it tell us anywhere where she came to in America? Look at page two on the back. It says because of her husband's company in Las Vegas to help him. So where did she come to? Judy P. was 28 when she came to Las Vegas, Nevada from, where did she come from in China? That's question number two on the front. Shenzhen, Zen, China. Judy P. was 28 when she came to Las Vegas, Nevada from Shenzhen, China with her, who did she bring with her? Her daughter, that's down below. Who is one years old? Yep, when she came to Las Vegas, Nevada from Shenzhen, China with her daughter, who was only one year old. Not right now. Okay. The year was what? 1994. 1994. Judy P. took a, how long was her plane flight? 15 hours. Took a 15 hour plane flight from Hong Kong to Los Angeles. Am I using this paper a lot? Yes. Yes. But now I'm turning it into a paragraph. Okay. Have we talked about why she's traveling? No. Not, not really. Okay. Have we talked about what China is like? The answer is no. Thank you. Karen, go give yourself a point for participation. Okay. You got to go. Go ahead. Okay. China Hey, I would turn around if I was you so I could see the typing. Good. Can you go back to that? Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. What do I know about China? Well, I could use what I know. Is what I know is that is that a is that a text or it's not a text? It's not a text. So right now, I gotta leave the laptop. Come over to this other computer that we're all looking at.
Okay. And I'm going to just use Wikipedia. When you get older, you're going to talk about how, how Wikipedia is reliable or not. Okay. So now we see this screen. Go ahead, Desiree. Okay. You're going to have to go back and forth. Let's see. China is the world's. I'm going to even. Ch oh, can you go back to my other screen? We've got to go back and forth several times. I'm going to change it. I was starting to say China is the world's. I'm going to say according to Wikipedia, comma, that's my. Source, okay. According to Wikipedia, can you go back? Uh, no, I, I think I got it. China is the world's most populous country, so it has the most what? People, yeah, the most people. It is also the fourth largest country in the world by land. Area. Can you go back to the Wikipedia article? What about Las Vegas? Well, Las Vegas is a city in America. It's one of it's in the top fifty cities in terms of size, but has nothing on China. Let's see, third or fourth largest country by total area. Okay. Then it tells us a little bit about the history of China. Well, let's scroll down. Okay. So, what are the countries you guys will be reading about? Mexico. Not China. Mexico is one. Thank you. Guatemala. Guatemala and Lebanon. Okay. So scroll down. Keep scrolling. Keep going. Thank you for being at a zero. Yeah, you can keep going. Okay, let's let's go back up. I saw something I might want to use. Okay. In the, let's see, one of the most famous cities in China is called Beijing, but she's not from there. Okay, so go back to the writing. Yeah, okay, let's see. Judy P's home province. Of Canton Province. Well, now what should I search for? If they came, if they say they came from Puebla, Mexico, what are you going to search for? Puebla. You can read about Mexico, but you should search your Darius is right. You should search for Puebla, Mexico. Mexico. So right now, can you go back to the Wikipedia and let's search on Wikipedia? There's a little sidebar. Scroll back up, and I want to find Canton Province. Yep. There you go. Search Wikipedia. Canton. It's like the word can't. C-A-N-T. O-N. And then space. Province. There we go. Guangdong. Okay. Uh, is a coastal province in South China. It's a coastal province. Its capital of the province is Guangzhou. It has 113 million people, which is, wow. That's, a, that's I mean, now the U.S. population has gone way up, but that's like one-third of the U.S. population. Okay. That's just the province. Yeah. Oh, it's the most populous province in China. It's, it's, right, it's all coming right from the first part. Okay. So many people there. Is there probably a lot of opportunity, or might she have come to America for more opportunity? More opportunity. I, I don't actually know, because a lot of people in China right now, it's, it's, a, it's bustling. But she didn't move here when China is doing so tremendously. She moved here in 1994. So let's go back to the writing. Judy P's home province of Canton Province is the most populous in all of China. She, Judy P. said she moved to the United States of America 
Why did? What's her reason? Because of her husband's automotive parts company in Las Vegas. Okay. Now, have we put her here in Las Vegas? Or not? No. Has she moved here in the... In, it's not a story, but has she moved here in the paragraph? Yeah. Yeah. So, since moving to Las Vegas, Judy says that... she. Where does she prefer to live? Oh, interesting. That's what you got out of that, Dulce? But for her family, she would prefer China. She actually, yeah, she actually likes Las Vegas because her family is here. Let's see. Since moving to Las Vegas, Judy says that she prefers living in the USA because... Because in China, because let's say because according to her... In China? In China? Awesome. Don't say what? If you were young, young um, they wouldn't give you a job. In China, if you are too old, they will not hire you or give you a job. It means the same thing. In America, there is not the discrimination. Okay. Let's see. How still Judy misses China. What does she miss about it? Her family members and her culture. She misses her family and her culture. She wishes she could speak what? China. American. No, it, no. Look at the text. We don't make it up. Uh, uh, yeah, Madeline. Well, hold on. I, I just want to finish this thought. Okay. We said she misses China. She misses her family and her culture. She wishes she could speak her local dialect. You're killing it. Don't say thank you. Okay. Go back. Go to page one. We're almost We're starting to wrap up. How many paragraphs do I have? Two. Two. Do I have information from a couple sources? Yes. Yes. You might have mo you might have more if you want to describe Puebla, Mexico. That one place is like the desert. One place isn't. Okay. Not right now. I just want to finish this person with their hand up. What was your life like back in your home country? Question number seven. In Shenzhen, she worked an import export garment factory for both sexes. Pretty good life. It was open to the outside being close to Hong Kong. Now, I know something that she doesn't reveal. I think, Mr. John, you might too, that China has changed since 1994. Okay. When she was in China, she felt that it was open to the outside world from being so close to. From being, yeah, and Madeline, what do you want to say? I wanted to say that about the hierarchy. It says, um, that she was not hired because of your age or your race. Oh, she brought up the race? Yeah. On the, the side at the bottom. Oh, okay. So I'm looking back over on the other side. They would not hire you. There's not the discrimination. They hire you because of not your age or because they hire you of your because of your ability and not because of your race or your age. Okay. When she was in China, she felt that it was open to the outside world from being so close to Hong Kong. Huh. Well, now I'm struggling a little bit for real. I'm just trying to think of how I'm going to end. This. This is the um, inquiry about Judy P. How she 
Okay, so you know what? I'm going to say, so while she misses her family, Judy P. is glad to be a what? An American. Well, I'm just... I th she does have citizenship, but uh, to be an American now. Okay? Okay? Uh, we are partly using racers for this, just the sense that you need to reread and revise. So now let's go through it. Who could read that out loud for us? Let's go with those but not, not stopping to look back at me. Just read the whole thing. Okay? Most people know that panda bears and great walls come from China. Yeah, keep going. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Most people, however, don't know that Judy P came from America. Came to America from China. Judy P was 28 when she came to Las Vegas, Nevada, from Shenzhen. Shenzhen. Good. China with um her daughter who was only one year old. The year was 1994. Judy P took a 15-hour plane flight from Hong Kong to Los Angeles. Good. According to Wikipedia, China is the world's most populous, populous? populous country, so it has the most people. It also, um, it is also the fourth largest country in the world by land area. Judy P's home province, yeah, province, province of Canton province is the most populous, populous? Yeah, populous. Populous is in all time. Judy P. Judy P. said that she moved to the United States of America. <laughs> moved to the United States of America because of her husband at Automotive Parts Company in Las Vegas. Good. Who would like to finish? Yaren. So, since moving to Las Vegas, Judy said that in the USA because according to her in China if you are too old they will not hire you or give you a job in America there is not the discrimination discrimination, discrimination. still Judy misses China she misses her family and her culture she wishes she Dialect. Dialect. When she, when she was in China, she felt that it was open to the outside world for being so close to Hong Kong. So while she while she misses her family, Judy P is glad to be in America now. What does that last line help us do? She's an American. What does it help tell us though? So while she misses her family, she is glad to be an American now. Now we're expecting to read more, or it helps to finish it? Helps to finish it. It makes it clear. Is there going to be more, or there's, that's it? That's it. Okay. Okay. And at the parent, a couple parent classes, the parents ask me in Spanish, they say, es todo? I'm like, yeah, that's it. They're saying, is this it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So right now, we're going to come. First off, let, let's get, let me stop the video.